the drama playing out in a densely populated section of the city. This latest incident now prompting pointed questions from politicians. CTV's John Woodward is live with tonight's top story. John. Michelle, it was a very busy area. Towers all around. We talked to plenty of people today who say they could have been crushed by that light pole, but for dumb luck. There were plenty of people in this downtown street when this video shows a Toronto police cruiser rounding the corner, jumping the curb and hitting a light pole, knocking it to the ground. Residents of the towers around Dan Lucky Way and Fort York Boulevard recorded officers cordoning off the area and inspecting the debris left behind by the crash Saturday morning, which caused significant damage to the cruiser. The video astonishing to Keith Smith, who has lunch regularly with his crew in exactly the spot that light pole fell. Today it's crazy. I don't know how he managed to, like, not straighten himself out. If we'd have been sitting here, we would have been done. That's unbelievable. Debris still there Monday, though city pylons replaced the down pole. Police said the male driver lost control. The female passenger was taken to hospital with minor injuries. The surveillance video obtained by biking lawyer David Shelnut. When I woke up to this video sent by a concerned member of the public, I was flabbergasted. He says the careless driving should be unacceptable to Toronto police. When you're just driving around, guys, you've got to follow the rules of the road like everybody else. It's you we look to uh, to lead an example on road safety. The crash comes on the heels of several other incidents that have made the news, including a cyclist seriously injured by a police cruiser turning on Bloor Street, a pedestrian run into as she crossed the road on Dufferin Street at Liberty, and numerous automated speeding and red light tickets uncovered by CTV News of police vehicles. The police have a lot of vehicles out there and that people make mistakes. Mistakes. Councillor John Burnside is a former police officer who now sits on Toronto's police board. He says he'll ask the service to disclose how exactly these traffic incidents are dealt with. There has to be transparency and people have to feel confident in the police service that they are not acting above the law. Something these workers agree with. They need to be accounted, uh, held accountable for their actions just like the rest of us, right? They feel they're lucky they weren't under the pole when it fell. We did ask Toronto Hydro the cost of repairing and replacing a pole like this. They said it runs between five and twelve thousand dollars. Not clear if the Toronto Police Service will be footing the bill. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Nathan, back to you.